Dramatic move ahead of the crucial peace conference in Berlin. The commander, Khalifa Haftar, shut down oil ports in eastern Libya. The new disruption in uh, the uh, state's energy industry has led to a halt of more than half the country's oil output. Sharing the border to the west with fellow OPEC member Algeria, Libya is the 16th largest country in the world in terms of land mass. Libya's oil crescent has reserves in abundance and in fact with the uh, amount of fossil fuel in store, it ranks ninth globally. This quantity accounts for about 3% of the world's total oil reserves. Libya has proven reserves equivalent to 594.2 times its annual consumption. Apart from petroleum, Libya's other natural resources are natural gas and gypsum. The country joined the OPEC in 1962. Its economy depends primarily on the oil sector, which represents about 69% of export earnings. Moreover, the oil and gas sector accounts for about 60% of the total GDP. Substantial revenues from the energy sector, coupled with a small population, give Libya one of the highest per capita GDPs in Africa. This means that without net exports, there would be about 594 years of oil left at current consumption levels. Libya exports 48% of its oil production. It has five domestic refineries with a combined capacity of 378,000 barrels a day. They are the Aza Wea Oil Refining Company. Sarir Refining Sirth Oil Company, Tobruk Refining Ras Lanuf Oil and Gas Processing Company. One of the terminal shutdowns in eastern Libya is uh, Zoetana Oil Port, which is located in the oil crescent of Libya, and, it's, and it exports crude oil and liquefied gas. The storage capacity of the terminal is around 6.5 million barrels of crude oil. The daily production rate lies between 60,000 to 70,000 barrels of oil and the terminal itself has the capacity to handle 20% of Libya's crude oil exports. Over 85% of Libya's crude exports go to Europe, while around 32% of Libyan oil goes to Italy, 14% to Germany, 10% to China and France and 5% to the United States. These are crucial talks that are taking place in Berlin at a time when world powers have raised concern over uh, the situation in Libya. Remember, the fighting that has been going on for months now has intensified. World leaders have gathered in Berlin for the Libya Peace Summit, which aims to broker a ceasefire in the North African country's nine-month-old civil war. And ahead of those talks, the closure of the East Libyan oil ports has been a crucial development, development as well. It's a move which has cut the nation's crude output by half. Russian President Vladimir Putin is in Berlin for those talks. He's already held a meeting with his Turkish counterpart, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Earlier, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo also arrived in the German capital. He said that the priority here is to stop the fighting in Libya, which has now intensified with the involvement of foreign powers. Libya at this point has two administrations. One is the internationally recognized Tripoli government of Fayaz al-Saraj. And then there is the eastern-based commander General Haftar's administration. Turkey, remember, just a few weeks ago had decided to send in its troops to help Tripoli fend off General Haftar's Libyan National Army's campaign. Turkish President Erdogan has said that he expects the talks to produce concrete results. And he's spoken about uh, the talks focusing on several fields like security and economy and how there is positive outcome in fact, that is expected on those fronts.